How's it going everyone? Doc here with Eyes Wide Shot Gaming, and today we are all excited for the brand new Warbond coming our way May 9th called The Polar Patriots. Let's check it out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date on all of your Helldivers 2 news, info, breakdowns, and more, as well as many other games. We are so close on our endeavor to 1,000 subscribers, why not join us today on our adventure? So earlier today we got a big new trailer, chock full of information regarding new armor sets, capes, weapons, and so much more. Let's go ahead and begin by watching the trailer before breaking it down piece by piece. Amazing, absolutely amazing. The first thing our eyes lock onto is the new armor sets we are getting, each one more magnificent than the last. The first of three new armor sets is called the CW36 Winter Warrior. This armor helps us blend into snowy environments with perfect camouflage. The enemy will never see us coming until it's far too late. The passive boost on this armor is that it's servo assisted. The second armor is the CW-22 Kodiak. The description on it reads, Thoroughly pressure tested by patriotic volunteers as part of the test subjects for Super Earth Citizen Advancement Program. Their sacrifice shall not be forgotten. Passive boost is fortified. So this armor had some human trials it went through, which from the description we understand has taken a few lives to perfect. We can all hope that this won't have the same impact on us as it did on them. And finally, the last armor set in this Warbond is the CW4 Arctic Ranger. This armor features a nifty utility belt, boasting hand pockets that can be filled with any number of things from pocket knives, mementos, interesting rocks, terminated tentacles, bits of bots, and the so forth. The passive boost on it is Scout. So, this armor set has a very odd description giving us hints that perhaps we will be seeing melee weapons coming soon. Who knows? Let's move on to the capes, the first cape being called the Dissident's Nightmare. The description on these capes are hysterical, this one being scientifically proven to be terrifying to dissent afflicted citizens during extensive testing in patriotic rehab centers. Second cape is the Pinions of Everlasting Glory, that's quite the mouthful. This cape all but ensures ascension to the immortal ranks of those enshrined in the Super Earth Digital Archive of Valorous Acts. And finally, our third cape is the Order of the Venerated Ballot. Adorned with the insignia of the Order of the Venerated Ballot, a ministry-sanctioned Patriots Club for citizens pledging to preserve the sanctity of voting. This entire description of the cape gives us vibes of unfair voting for sure. With these capes, we also have, as always, three new emotes, those being mime instrumentations, request incoming patriotic chat with call the helldivers, and last, the distribute ballots. Exciting news, but we aren't done yet. Let's take a look at the weapons. We start off with the AR-61 Tenderizer. This is a high caliber assault rifle with awesome stopping power, but limited mag size, so each shot has to count. Again, aim small, miss small. The next one up, the SMG-72 Pummeler. A slower rate of fire than the other SMG, but with concussive rounds that daze an enemy, as well as has the ability to be used one-handed. And last, the PLAS-101 Purifier. Hold the trigger, let them charge, do a bunch of smiling, and then release the trigger. The longer you can hold your nerve and the trigger, the bigger the damage. This seems to be a combination of the plasma shotgun with the railgun. 
we just hope it doesn't detonate after holding it too long and kill us like the railgun in unsafe mode. Along with these new weapons, we are getting a new secondary, new grenade, and even a new booster. The G13 Incendiary Impact Grenade. This is basically an incendiary version of the impact grenade we already have. This thing detonates on impact and ignites the area in white phosphorus. So we have to make sure our allies are not around the explosive radius when throwing this. The secondary weapon we get is the P113 Verdict. Gas-operated, semi-automatic, and chambers the largest center-fire cartridge of any pistol of its kind. We seem to be getting not some six-shooter, but a full-blown hand cannon. And finally, we get to the new booster, the Motivational Shocks. Literally shocks hell divers back into action after being hit and slowed by attacks from enemies. This will not work against AoE attacks like EMS Strikes or the EMS Sentry, but anything that gets us up and going after getting knocked down by a hunter or a stalker sounds beneficial to us. This brand new war bond called Polar Patriots rolls out to our destroyer acquisition panel on May 9th, so mark your calendars, Helldivers. Along with this new war bond, we can as always expect some other silent add-on into the game, either on the same day or a few days after. Yes, we all want vehicles, and that's what we might be getting. But even if this war bond is all we see coming our way in a week, then that's fine too. I myself am very excited to try out the new grenades and the PLAS 101 purifier. And as always, Helldivers, thank you for watching, thank you for listening, and until next time, so long.